Hi everyone! I'm Kevin, this is Great Oak Club. Today I'm in space. Do you like it? Look. Um, oh, where's, where's the... Oh, wow, look. Uh, hang on. Can anyone else hear a, a monster? A dragon? A Martian? Oh, hang on. No, no. It's Sarah Jane snoring. Sarah Jane. Oh, 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 hi, Kev. Oh, oh, I'm so tired. Have you been doing too much artwork, Sarah yeah, Jane? I think so. Hi, everyone. Welcome to space. <gasps> wow. They're yeah, cool. This is the solar system. So what we're going to do is use our magic painting textures from part one. So if you haven't had a chance to look at part one, please go and have a look because it shows you how to make these awesome textures. Yeah. Now the textures that we made look like this. They're really cool. So we took each of the planets, worked out what colours they had and created the magic paint textures. So that's what we used to make the planets. Okay, so what you're going to need is some black string, some blue, some magic stars, or you can paint your stars on or draw your stars on, it's up to you, some scissors, a hole punch, some black card, and obviously your magic paint textures. Yeah. So to make the top part of this, we're going to take this away now. Oh. We can see what we're doing. Okay. It's going to light down over here. Oh, okay. I can still look at it then. So, Ooh. all you need to do for the top half is take your card, draw a semicircle on the card, about 10 centimetres tall, cut it out with your scissors, so you end up with that. Then you stick your stars on both sides. Wow. Then you need to use your hole punch and punch a hole in the top, a hole on the side and a hole on the side and then attach some string. What happens if I haven't got a hole punch Sarah Jane? Um, well a hole punch is the best. Okay, maybe. You maybe. can um. use a um, skewer Ah, by, yeah. by placing a tiny little piece of blue tack or plasticine down on the, on your table. Yeah. Put your card down. Okay. And then skewer through. Right. Or a pencil. A, pencil. Or a pencil. I could do a yeah. pencil, couldn't I? That yeah. would make a hole for you as well. That's a good idea. Thank you, Sarah Jane. Now the string needs to be the same length, so you need to lie it down and make sure when you tie it up, they are the same length. Okay. Okay. Now that's what you're going to use to attach it to your ceiling in your bedroom. Cool. Right, once you've done that, you need to hole punch the holes for the planets. Now, the planets all revolve around the sun. Yeah. And the sun is the biggest one. So what you need to do is find some round objects to draw around. All varying sizes. So you've got the sun, it's the biggest one, then Mercury is the smallest one. Then you have oh. Venus, which is slightly bigger. Yeah. And Earth. Now Venus and Earth are near enough the same size, so you can use the same circular template. Then you've got Mars. Oh, could I use coins? You could do. Ah, yeah, that's a good idea. So the best way to do it is work out your biggest one. Yeah. And then your smallest one. Right. And then find objects in between, because you want the smallest one to be big enough so you can still see the texture. Yeah. So you've got Venus, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and then you have Saturn, which I'm going to show you how to create in a minute. Then you have Uranus and Neptune. Wow. Now, Poor there used Pluto. to be another planet called Pluto. Poor Pluto. But I'm not sure it's classed as a planet anymore. Oh. But you can always put it on. Yeah, why not? Too. 
So there we go. So they're all different sizes. Now to attach the string, you need to make sure for each planet you need two circles the same size and then you glue them together. But what you do is you put your string in the middle before you glue it and that attaches it for you. Wow. Okay? Now with Saturn, this is quite a special planet because it has a ring round it. Okay? So what you're going to do is cut out like a donut shape that will fit round the circle. And what you do is you put glue on there, then attach your string. Glue on there and stick it down, and then your string's attached, and then either side of it, you stick down your ring on Saturn. Oh, wow. Okay? That's now, cool. When you're cutting the string, make them all the same length, and when you're attaching them inside your circle, just lay them down where you want them to hang, and make sure that they are the same length. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So once you've done all your planets, now the best bit about this one is making the textures because they are such awesome textures that come across and they're perfect for planets. So with your holes, you want one at this end for the sun. You're okay there, Sarah Jane. Oh, I've got it stuck. Are you struggling? Oh. <laughs> we all have problems yes, along we the do. way. But this is the fun bit about it is enjoying the bit that goes wrong. Yeah, well, it's all a bit fun, isn't it? And then you want one yeah. at this end. Careful. Don't let it get stuck. One at this end for. Oh, I forgot what planet goes at the end. Uh. Depends on if you're doing Pluto or Neptune. Not. Neptune. Okay. So on this one, it's Neptune. Okay. Okay. Now, this isn't scientifically measured. No. But it just gives you the idea that it's, you've got Mercury. What? Yeah. Is furthest away from the sun. Yeah. Uh, nearest to sun, sorry. Okay. So make a hole there. Then you've got. Have you forgotten, Sarah Jane? Venus. <laughs> I thought you'd forgotten. It's quite near Mercury. Yeah. And then Earth. Earth. You cut a hole. And then you leave a bit of a gap because that's the asteroid belt. A, a what? Asteroid belt. Does that keep your trousers up? <laughs> Have a look on the internet and work out what the asteroid belt asteroid. is. Asteroid. Big asteroid belt there, so there's a gap. Okay. And then the rest of them are quite evened apart okay okay so once you've done that you then take your planet this is the sun put it through the hole plug it through the hole the sun's not a planet Sarah Jane no it's not a planet no. is it no. no it's a big ball of fire Arr! someone get a fire extinguisher yep 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 and you tie it on get some water and there you have it oh wow once you've tied it on. Yeah, cool. Do that for the rest of them, making sure they're all the same hanging where you want them. And then that's your finished solar system. Cool, wow. Well. Which looks like this. And you can hang it in your bedroom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's very cool. Awesome. Have fun, everybody, uh, making the planets. Sarah Jane, can I have them in my bedroom, please? Why not, Kate? No, oh, thank you. You can watch them go round. No, oh, you're so kind. So if you like what you've seen, don't forget to like, like and, and subscribe. subscribe. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye.